Hello there. Let's work on some exercises involving distance and displacement. First, let's do a bit of concept review. Do you recall which quantity, distance or displacement, is a vector? If you said displacement, you're right. Do you remember which quantity must be specified using a number and a unit? That's a bit of a trick question. Both distance and displacement require a number and a unit. Do you remember which quantity is a scalar? That would be distance. Do you remember which quantity requires a direction? That would be displacement because it's a vector. Displacement requires both magnitude, the number, and direction. Now let's do a simple problem. Our T-Rex friend is hanging out at position 3. Then he takes a stroll to position 5. Then he walks back to position 2. Can you calculate his distance? Remember to break it down into two legs of his journey. Why don't you pause the video and think about it for a minute. All right, let's talk about the distance our T-Rex travels. When he moves from three to five, he travels two units because final position five minus initial position three is two. Then he travels from five to two. So his initial position is five and his final position is two. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. But since this is distance, we don't need to worry about the sign. Let's add up the two legs of his journey. 2 plus 3 is 5. So he travels a total of 5 units. Now can you calculate our T-Rex's displacement? All right, since the T-Rex starts out at 3 and he ends up at 2, his displacement is his final position 2 minus the initial position 3, which gives us negative 1. Here the negative means that he traveled in the left direction. So our answer is 1 unit to the left. All right, let's move on to something a little bit trickier. Here we've got a T-Rex on a grid. He's going to start at this red X, which is at the ordered pair negative 2, negative 1. Then he moves up to this green x, which is at the position negative 2, 1. Then he moves to the right to the position 2, 1. Then he moves down until he reaches the x-axis. He ends up at the position zero, 2, 0. 2, 0. Can you calculate the distance he travels? I'll give you a second to think about it. This problem can be made pretty simple just by counting the lines he crosses. We start off here. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. He travels a total of 7 units. This is a measurement of distance, mind you. Let's move on to something that doesn't have a grid, so we can't just count the lines. Let's say our T-Rex starts off at position 1. Then he meanders along to position 3. Finally, he meets his friend at position 0. Can you calculate the distance he travels? Why don't you pause the video and think about it? All right. So we start off at position 1 and move to position 3. Final position minus initial position is 2. How about the second leg of our journey? We end up at 0 after having been at 3. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Since this is distance, let's not worry about the negative sign. We'll add up the two legs of our journey, 2 and 3, and come up with 5. How about our displacement? We start off at 1, end up at 0. So our displacement is negative 1. 
which means we traveled one unit in the negative direction. This concludes our unit on position and displacement and distance. Yay!